Philippines, good evening. Naimbag na rabi, masanto siya sa labi. Itsi kayo amin, maya pa bengi keka. Marahay na banggi sa inagubos, maupay nga gabi ha iyong uh, tanan. Uh, buenas noches, bismillah, rahmundi rahim, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala barakatuh. Maayong, maayong gabi sa Tibok Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, up to Sabah. Ako po si Eric Espina at ito po ang inyong programang Republika. Well, tonight, uh, the most important aspect in also combating the current pandemic, which is COVID-19, is not just public information, but hopefully, if government is listening, strategic information. Um, there are a lot of agencies that's involved, uh, which can be used in order for government to have a crutch in order to be able to steady along as uh, we wrestle with this uh, kind of uh, disease. And that's why tonight, uh, we're going to be talking to the KBP or Kapisana ng mga broadcasters ng Pilipinas. A very, very uh, vintage organization. And uh, we're going to be talking to the Region, region 7 chairperson. We have Marlon Baula, who is also, who happens to be running, uh, if I'm not mistaken, two FM stations, which we will ask him later on. So he can also plug... Uh, uh, the radio stations that he is, uh, he is administering. So, we'd like to welcome uh, Mr. Marlon Baula. Good evening. Maying gabi. Maying gabi, Eric. Uh, it's nice to be in your program mm -hmm. tonight. Mm -hmm. And I am uh, honored to be here. Thank oh. you so much. Simon Timbre, you're a DJ ba ka sa una? I'm a DJ in 1990. <laughs> Nine, ato na lang yung sulti, no? Uh -huh. 1992, uh, nag-start ko mm -hmm. as a DJ. And then eventually, na-promote ko to become an officer uh -huh. sa previous na akong sa company. Previous na akong company. And then until now. So, I used to work in, ano, I used to work in uh, Star FM. What was uh, your handle? Or what was the name of, uh, what what name did you end up for, for, for the airwaves? Marlon Scott. <laughs> Marlon, nga man ay mo mag Marlon Scott. <laughs> no, na iya kung murag, na iya kung napili nga, nga, napili nga radio name. Ah, that time. okay. And yes. then, but, you know, it's very interesting that most people sometimes that go into broadcasting uh, are not necessarily, kwa, no? uh, join or, or, or broadcast graduates. I don't know if that's the same phenomenon with you also. In my case, uh, a graduate ko, uh, Maskong. Uh, ah, Maskong um, good, okay. Divine Word, Divine Word University sa Tatloban. Ah, so, okay. Related dia kung sa akong trabaho karon. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. And then, so, ang kwa na to, no, atong istoryahan, Marlon, no, for example, kanin sa KBP, uh, you are now yes. the current uh, chairperson of uh, Region 7. G give us just a brief backgrounder, what is the ethos, uh, what was the concept? Uh, how did actually KBP start? Now, not just in Region 7, but uh, just, just a briefer so that people of this generation may, 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 may recognize that uh, KBP yeah. has been in existence for quite a time. For quite a time, no? Kini, uh, KBP na mugna ni siya because uh, ang media is the, the, the fourth state magon no? sa uh, society. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to self-regulate, ang industry ang mga owners no ang mga owners mm -hmm. uh, network owners have uh, organized themselves to form what is now called the kapisanan ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas mm -hmm. so that this is basically to this is basically designed to uh, have a check and balance mm -hmm. sa organization mm -hmm. um, before the government will, uh, you know, come in. So, mm -hmm. um ang, ang nahinahinahan niya. Namug na ng KBP para to put uh, in order sa, sa organization. Self-regulate. Mm -hmm. Self-regulation. Mm -hmm. So, that is precisely the, the essence of uh, KBP. And then, um, kada mga region, regions, uh -huh. uh -huh. na, na chapters across the Philippines and uh, represented by 
the respective station managers. Mm-hmm. Sa mga member ng mga networks. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. you vote you vote for respective chair of the entire yes. Philippines okay. and then the region apod. Yes, so the regional chairperson uh, is not actually voted upon. Okay. It's a position it is a position uh, appoint appointed by the KBP uh, chairman. Chairman, oh uh, no no, KBP Manila, the, the the mother organization. Okay. So kada region na siya KBP regional uh, chairperson, mm-hmm. coordinator, mm-hmm. KBP regional coordinator. That is my position. But before I became appointed as KBP mm-hmm. regional uh, coordinator, I used to be the chairman also uh, in KBP Cebu. Okay, okay. And then, so let me ask you, the, when, when this was all formed, I, correct me if I'm wrong, this was what, during the time of Jodoro Valencia or when exactly, uh, if, 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 if it's a fair um, question, do you, if, if, if you can remember? <laughs> as far as I can remember, Uh-oh. I think uh, during the time of Tunila uh, Reilani, no, that's a lot of uh, chairpersons to the left. Uh, maybe not a mga si Kaduroy, siguro, Uh-oh. at that time. Uh-oh. It was part of the organization. I cannot exactly remember when was this. Uh, this was uh, uh, organized Uh-oh. way back. So, yeah, medyo lugay-lugay na sinin eh. So, Kwanis siya, no? This is a an agroupment of uh, television and basically radio. Video, yes. Okay, and then uh, they decided to put this together for yes. purposes of self-regulation. Yes, oh. exactly. Uh-huh. Now, my, the, the question that I'd like to ask is that um, how is the the head of Manila, uh, KBP chair of Manila, how is he? Is he also elected? Is it... Uh, elected. Yes. Elected by nationwide or only Manila? Manila. How is it? By the uh, Manila... By the homeowners. I mean, the, yeah. the, rather the radio owners, the broadcast owners. Yes, the representatives of the broadcast uh, owners. Kaya murag doon na siya, no? Ang mga, ang mga owners uh, sa station, ang murag na pa yung mga representatives, no? So it's like two, two groups. Yes, in Manila, na ay, na ay uh, mga owners who attend sa meeting, mm-hmm. they're also being elected to. Mm-hmm. And there are also representatives, no? The presidents uh, of of uh, uh, CEOs, chief operating officers. So, H- has the number of members gone down? Has it gone up? W- what's the present status now? I think, uh, to my knowledge, I think it's it's going up. Okay, going up. networks or franchises na ni enter into picture, mm-hmm. and so I think. Uh, for them to be in, in, you know, uh, to be part of the of the solid uh, group of in the media, so uh, they have they have uh, actually joined KBP. Do, do you see in the future that the platforms like you know uh, internet and all this, um, if you have your own TV channel, uh, like. For example, you have certain people with their own personal channels and they're very popular. They're able to come up with these channels uh, mm-hmm. on the internet. Do you see that uh, the KBP will probably consider these individuals as, as, as probable members in, in, in KBP? Uh, well, I can't really, uh, um, you know, uh, have a kind of uh, concrete nga analysis sana, no? because oh. um, kinini ang they can be considered I, I guess uh, depende sa what depende sa dynamics sa uh, mm. you know sa situation um, um, right now medyo wala pa wala pa ko na wala oh. pa ko na okay Marabag, uh, that's the current puzzle now no uh, right between yeah. A legitimate media, legitimate journalist, legitimate columnist, as against bloggers, as yes. against, uh, you know what I mean, Twitter and yes. all that. So, uh, looking forward, uh, 
we might have to be faced with that uh, dilemma uh, that uh, right. people are very popular. They have their own broadcast platforms and then maybe perhaps to enrich uh, the KBP and uh, in order to make it inclusive and mm -hmm. in some way, one way or the other, legitimize them so that they'll also carry some kind of a responsibility over their content. Exactly. <laughs> their yes. content. So maybe. Yes, there's a, there's a possibility that, you know, uh -oh. these guys uh -oh. will be included uh, as part of the inclusivity. You know? uh -oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask you, Marlo, no? Yes. Some people, some TV stations join the KBP. Uh, first thing they'll always ask is, what are the advantages if you're a member of KBP? Well, uh, number one is uh, if you're a member of the KBP, there is a, from what I've learned, uh, mm. you, if you acquire, uh, you know, equipment from abroad, mm -hmm. uh, there's a, tax, I guess there's a tax exemption discount. or something like that, no? Yeah, tax exemption, mm. tax, uh, probably tax exemption no? mm. uh, uh, with regard to the Equipments. amount of your equipment. Yeah. Yeah, so some of the equipment, they mon. That's what I've. Uh, that's, what, that's what I've learned. Mm -hmm. Second one is, of course, when you are in a, in a in our organization, somehow mm -hmm. you have the you have the how do you call this? If you if you belong to an organization, what I call no, support the, group. No, okay, support group exactly. Mm -hmm. a support group, and then you're one way or the other, you are protected. No. Uh, from probably from external <laughs> external uh, forces, uh -huh. if you will, mm -hmm. and uh, if you're a member of the KBP, uh, you know, legit ang imong man, legit ang imong profession. Hindi mo na bitokas mo na kwan, kini mo na matawag nila nga mga kulurum. At least. Okay, sense of conduct and then professional uh, organization and belongingness to that particular group. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there's there are regulations. Uh, of course, of training, uh -oh. training uh, you know, reg self regulation. Uh -oh. And then, uh -huh. are there broadcast uh, firms that end up violating the KBP rules, KBP procedures, and then? How do you handle them? I mean, how are they penalized? How are they disciplined? Because this is self-regulation. No? So, how is that done? Not I can, not I standards authority mm -hmm. uh, who is tasked to investigate, no? to, to hear the complaint and then uh, hear the other side. Uh, it used to be uh, a process not open ed, not a local standards authority. Mm -hmm. I used to be at a standards uh, local authority, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. local standards authority. Mm -hmm. So, ako yung more investigator, more investigator ka ba? Mm -hmm. Mga uh, in-house ombudsman. Oh 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 oh. Kung may complaint, di mo nang ano, di mo nang i-analyze ang complaint, di mo kanaong kung mm -hmm. there is a a basis for for the complaint mm -hmm. to to warrant a, an investigation, no? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, tapos, uh, um, standards authority can also moto proprio mm -hmm. investigate. So mm -hmm. without any complaint, you can you can you can investigate a particular patient. And then, what's the, what are the penalties usually? So that you know, uh, self regulation becomes a really a, a credible weapon for the organization in order to get some form of uh, uh, discipline for for everybody. Yes. There, are, there is a, a one is uh, meaning revocation of your membership. Your not, not actually membership, but your uh, accreditation. Would that be accreditation? It? No, accreditation suspension. If uh, if it warrants a suspension, suspension uh, penalty, mm -hmm. financial uh, gaining, uh, uh consideration, mm -hmm. mga penalties, mm -hmm. and then either the inv individual. Mm -hmm. the commit mistake or the the the, the station he is uh, representing with so there are there are uh, minor penalties and then there are major penalties depending on uh, depending on uh, instructions the, there is an agreement though, among all KBP members in terms of uh, advertisement load no uh, in between programs if 
I don't know if, if I still remember that correctly. And is that yes. still strictly followed or it has already changed? Okay, Muragi, uh, you know, it's now, you're given a, a, bi a bigger leeway in number of, of minutes that can be used for advertisement. For, for, for us in the, in, KP, in, uh, in MBC, no? Mm. We are strictly following the 17 minutes per hour mm -hmm. commercial mm -hmm. load, no? Mm. So, uh, I don't know with the other, other networks. Other networks, uh, uh huh. But what is what? But what does KBP say? It's really seventeen minutes per hour. Yes, should be seventeen minutes per per hour. Now others are you know for economic reasons. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, they go beyond, and uh, in fact there is a there is a an issue regarding that, uh -huh. which uh, resulted to to bolting out from, from from a certain network, bolted out from KBP mm -hmm. because of that the particular issue. Uh, are we uh, talking only of one broadcast network or two broadcast networks, the ones that are really very huge in the Philippines, when we return with Republica? Okay, you're back with us in uh, Republica, and uh, we're still talking about uh, the KBP amidst uh, COVID, but uh, we're getting a brief backgrounder from uh, the uh, KBP, I'd rather call her him chair of uh, Region 7 or coordinator. And uh, we were talking about the 17 uh, minutes uh, on a per hour for in terms of uh, advertising. Um, Marlon, I'll ask you, this 17 minutes was decided by KBP. This is the most convenient uh, in terms of uh, the viewership um, so that, you know, the people don't get pissed. Uh, you know, they see yeah. all this commercial load. So 17 minutes is the best. It's the most yes. ideal. Yes. Okay. And then, but there are some who violate this, no? Yes. Uh, for economic reasons, for survival. Okay. And then, but there are some who really, because of the commercial law, decide to to leave the organizations, no? The, the KBP itself. Yes. Okay. M many, uh, would it be fair to say these are usually the big giant networks because th they make more money, they put, they press in a lot of uh, uh, commercials and they maximize <laughs> the hour? <laughs> uh, I can't, I can't uh, really... Uh, answer. Answer mm -hmm. on that. But uh, there, is, there is one big network now that uh, who who disagreed with that ruling ruling uh -huh. uh, the ruling for the 17 minutes, minutes regulated number of minutes per hour so uh -huh. for them i think uh so you know uh, it's too short maybe yeah. so. the, the way you see it I, without mentioning the the the, the network uh, they're going what uh, what 25 minutes per, per the hour? Uh, how many, how many, how many <laughs> minutes do they? I don't know, but I, 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 what, I, what I suspect is that the, the beyond, beyond more than 17 minutes, precisely. Mga, uh, mga 25 minutes, you think? <laughs> no monitoring. And so they, so, so they, uh, they've, been, they've been out of KBP for quite a time, therefore. Yes, yes, so. Uh -huh. uh, and yeah. Uh, let me ask you: Is there some kind of an agreement among all the uh, owners regarding uh, rates, or every radio station, every TV station has its by its own uh, 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 what do you call this management can decide how many how how much do they charge per per thirty second there or for every minute? That's a good question. Uh, every network has its own. Uh, standard rates mm -hmm. umaga, mga published mm -hmm. rates so there is no such thing as uh, kbp established uh, rates no mm -hmm. so kanya kanya mga kanya kanya presyo kanya kanya diskarte so ang regulate lang sa kbp is ang kanang length sa commercial break na murag uban murag halos katunga na sa oras Okay. <laughs> and quality of the programming uh, suffers. Suffers, yes. no? There's also right. no maximum. There's no maximum standard uh, because 
especially during election time, the the pricing really goes sky high. It's it's a uh, Correct. It, it comprom it, if I might say this, it compromises on the whole concept of a, of a democratic process because now it becomes all focused on a lot of the, the candidates looking for a way to, to you know, to, to get known into to, to the public. And uh, they'll end up, they'll have to spend a lot of money or look for creative ways to pay for their commercial, you know, their commercial loan. No? Yes. <laughs> and by the way, speaking oh. of. Uh, KBP and KBPDN organized this year, mm. April 27, 1973. Okay. April 27, so I was two years old, three years old. At that time, no? And this, uh, this, this is really right after martial law, actually. Right after martial law. Oh, oh. Uh, na organized in KBP. So, you know, based on the, maybe the lessons that they, they have learned uh, during martial law. Uh -huh. So, organizing KBP to make it you know, the industry more stronger and, uh -oh. and well represented. H how do you see, Koano, uh, how do you see, does, does, does uh, KBP have any plans of coming up with the MOA, with the MTRCB, with, in, in terms of regulating content? I mean, you know, uh, PG, SPG. Uh, I, I remember before, and I think you'll remember that, that uh, you're, when you're talking about prime time, SPG was not allowed, you know. It, 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 mm -hmm. PG was not even allowed. I mean, if it's if it's prime time, it's really just you know uh, for for general patronage. And then mm -hmm. the, the adult content comes in a, a little about three three hours afterwards, no, or four hours afterwards. But nowadays, uh, I, I noticed it. You can get away with practically anything as long as the the warning is there. You can say whatever you want on on, on television, no, within parameters. But uh, Sometimes it can be an SPG program, uh, lunchtime program. No, so the KBP has not come up with some kind of a approach to this, or it's just letting MTRCB do what 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 it thinks is is. is uh, um, I think KBP is also taking cognizance of the the responsibility of MTRCB. I think mm -hmm. MTRCB is also doing its, its job uh, mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. um, I guess. Mm -hmm. so, for, so far, I don't remember a memorandum of agreement to that effect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, uh, was it, am I right to say that before, like if you had loto or gambling, this was not accepted by the KBP as part of uh, broadcasting uh, standards yeah, and conditions? Definitely. Definitely. Uh -huh. So when yeah. when you broadcast these things, you are actually taken out of KBP. Well, of course, there is a due process for that. Mm. Uh, and then it goes to Manila, as you were saying. Uh, yes. Uh -oh. uh, I, I I I forgot to to mention earlier mm. uh, the the present setup, the present uh, system in in accommodating complaints. Mm -hmm. uh, kanang mga nakabiolate no supposed to be uh, mm -hmm. allegedly who have violated the broadcast code mm -hmm. so ang um, present na mga sistema karon is we we receive the complaint mm -hmm. penalized by KBP or they should be taken off the air or suspended for a while i mean that did that ever happen as as far as uh, memory recalls yes uh, in fact in manila ato yung mga popular na mga Personalities, hindi lang kung mo ano, mention. Mm. Yes, yes, but, yes. But there were a couple of personalities who were penalized uh, uh, by KBP uh -huh. after they have been found violating the broadcast code. In Cebu, uh -huh. the, dili, 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 ang, ang penalty was not uh, suspension or revocation of of the accreditation but uh, oh. there were there were some rep they were reprimanded by kbp for going beyond uh -huh. is allowed by the broadcast code uh, we're, yeah. we're amidst uh, covid now no and uh, i don't know whether kbp has, has met together gone on zoom uh, coming out with uh, certain uh, advocacies but how is KBP coping, uh, coping up in terms of uh, the, the pandemic that uh, the entire country is experiencing? Well, 
That's a good, uh, that's a good uh, inquiry, uh, Eric. Mm. The KBP Cebu chapter is, was very, and is, and will be very active in helping the government, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the private sector. We had, we had projects last, uh, I guess, last May. Mm -hmm. We have a radiothon. Mm -hmm. I mean, radiothon sa katong, katong, uh, last May. Mm -hmm. With all, uh, with, with the concern, uh, katong, ko alam, technically, able, na uh, capable, na uh, mga radio stations, sa KBP. So, namin radio phone, uh, we had interviews with different government officials, mm -hmm. uh, getting their side, getting their thoughts, and their plans, and mm -hmm. their, their accomplishments so far. So, that was in May. And then it was followed by another Zoom mm -hmm. uh, project in coordination with the Cebu Citizens Initiative, uh, mm -hmm. civil society uh, organization in mm -hmm. Cebu, mm -hmm. na for Republic because of the COVID-19 uh, uh, problem, mm -hmm. health crisis. So, katong uh, radiothon sa KBP2 mismo, ang kining uh, KBP marathon, radio marathon, mm -hmm. meeting with all the with all the uh, personalities uh, sa Kuan, sa Cebu, Cebu Citizens Initiative and kami sa KBP and then we uh, we posted it in in our page mm -hmm. uh, it was also done to you know to to uh, inform the public uh, of the important information that uh, our citizens need to know mm -hmm. about the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of that ongoing joint project with Cebu Citizens Initiative, mm -hmm. it used to be Cebu COVID-19 Citizens Initiative, but karon ila nangi Cebu Citizens Initiative. Okay. Marag generic na kuno. Marag generic. Ilang pag-limik. So na ay gi... Na gi, in fact, na ay gi-launch nga kwan, gi-compose nga kanta nga, ang, ang, ang title is King sa Pamandi. Ay, ay. In fact, si Herbubit was also one of of, of those uh, uh, individuals nga ni-attend at Zoom meeting na mo. So, it, na tay, mo to, gi-launch na to, gi-play sa mga KBP member stations. The song was, uh, was intended to, you know, you know to... To, to promote, promote solidarity, solidarity awareness, awareness, and uh, unity among the citizens. Isa pa kaya ang matababang ito. Kung dili, kita lang mismo. Musalig ang mga kuwan na ito, mga abang tao na matabang na ito because this is our battle, this is our, uh, you know, battle for survival. So, kinsa pa kaya ang matabang na ito, kita mismo. That is the significance of the song. Is, is, KB, is KBP undertaking some kind of a uh, advertising, some kind of uh, yes. sim similar to the 3 o'clock habit ba, where it will be carried by all uh, radio stations, uh, all yes. TV stations with regards to uh, COVID yes. prevention? Natay ko, natay mga radio plugins, DevComs, developmental communication plugins. Mm -hmm. This was done in coordination in... in, in uh, in uh, collaboration, rather, with the IATF, uh -huh. no, through General uh, Feliciano. Okay. Um, they produce the plugs. Uh -huh. And then they... they In individual niya or really, it's really KBP Cebu? Um, KBP Cebu. KBP Cebu. So, uniform day niya. And then uniform. it's give, given uh -huh. to the different broadcasting kwan. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, the information was the details, uh, the, the 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 information which we based uh, in our in our script was supplied by <coughs> by uh, the IATF. Uh, I'll ask you this question: no? um, How crucial right now um, is public information? Uh, you know, uh, notices, advertisements like this development communications 
and for that matter, strategic communication. I mean, uh, amidst COVID, I mean, who is handling the ball? No, I, I understand it's KBP. I understand that, but it, on the side of government, who is actually handling the ball in terms of uh, you know development communication, strategic communication, and all this? Besides the government, who can say? Mm. Is is anybody really sitting down on this with KBP? And you know. Uh, the IATF invited us actually, mm -hmm. invited KBP, and we are we are very happy. Uh, KBP has given you know this challenge, this task, mm -hmm. because we felt at that time, uh, no one was you know no one no organization in the government was taking the lead or was was yeah, but no one was was coming to us and seeking our help. Mm -hmm. no, in terms of uh, information dissemination. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, I posted it on my page that I don't know if I'm going to be in the radio. I'm sure they're going to be in the radio. This is the, to me, uh, although, well, uh, on social media, given that it's really being consumed by by the public. public. But the um, radio in particular, is still here. You mean, you know, yes. we still, you know, we, we are a big help actually mm -hmm. in in um, you know bringing this information to the to the masses especially. Mm -hmm. So we were thankful that the invite me General Feliciano. Uh, nakakita sa sa kaya si General Feliciano di ay Eric. Mm -hmm. that, uh, he was assigned here in Sencom mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Uh, in charge of the civil military uh, activities mm -hmm. um, related to the information public relation and information dissemination and so nakita niya na ato na yung ano, ato na yung invitahon ato na yung media ang radyo kaya hindi ako ni patabang na ito so we were invited and then we discussed and then ano na ito ang resulta he was also very happy na receptive ka yung KBP sa iyang mga suggestions, ng idea niya. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, I think it was, it was, that was not the last time, I think, na, na may collaboration. I think, napailain siguro, anak. Wala lang, wala pa siya mo. Okay, we're going to pause for a few reminders and uh, when we come back, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll tackle about the, the timing, uh, the tidiness, if at all, if it ever happened, uh, sh should uh, the communications been undertaken starting even uh, late January, if not early February, and uh, to really mm -hmm. dip it in the bud when Republica returns. Marajo na doon sa IG Horot. Nandito pa rin po tayo sa ating programang Republica. Kausap pa rin po natin ang... Uh, Region 7 Chair or Coordinator ng uh, Kapisanan ng mga Broadcasters ng uh, Pilipinas, si Marlon Baula. Um, I think you know this, uh, Marlon, no? the timing is very crucial in terms of information dissemination, especially development communication, and, and uh, the totality of it is a strategic communications approach. No? Um, and I, I get the sense that uh, it's like uh, there's no exact uh, how do they call it <laughs> there is no composer, there is no producer to it, it's like everybody is doing his own thing uh, on the national level and then uh, and then on the local level we're also doing that no? and so it's like we're helping each other it's a great thing but nobody seems to be <laughs> composing the entire lyrics, the song and, and putting the poetry together, the rhyme and the reason uh, as far as uh, uh, communication is concerned. Your, your thoughts on that? Well, um, siguro ang cause ana niya, Eric, no? because uh, tanuon na yung magingon ng murag kuwan ba? Kanang murag uh, dilimayo ang kuwan ba? Kanang kung sa kuwan pa ni orchestra, murag oh, oh. may conductor. So, oh, yes. murag, uh, maybe siguro tumod kay First time ni nga nahitabo karon sa atong generation. Mm -hmm. uh, this is unprecedented. Um, murag, ingon pa ngayon nila, why am I ang laki ani? Murag, wag yun, kanang nagpanik ang tao. And then, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 
disorganized at, at the onset, mm -hmm. I may say. So, it has, I attribute na ko na siya sa Juan, kining, kanyang, murag, wak mo gini siya, murag, libro pa nga. <laughs> oo, oh, oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wala, pero, murag, wala pa ni template niya, itong, gano na lang, ito na lang, i-follow. So, I think, yeah, siguro, nagsugod ang, kanyang, siguro, problema. But as we go oh, along, yes, yes. as we went along, right? Yes. Murag na, kung alam po, murag na, na-improve. So, na na mga areas of improvement. So, I cannot really blame those people in the government. Uh -huh. uh, 100%. How, how crucial do you think, uh, as a media man, as a broadcaster, do you think, is uh, the timing? I mean, COVID started more or less January 23, mm -hmm. when China closed, and then... Should we have moved uh, faster in terms of, you know, cascading all this information and then developing certain themes uh, in order to push through with the, the disciplining process of the population to make them realize how crucial COVID is? How crucial was the time, time of span that, you know, that, that, that went through, no? Which could have been used for, for public information and, and developing communications? Very crucial. Uh, okay. Kitimagodang ang mga most vulnerable ng mga sectors out of society are the the 60 years old up mm -hmm. one mga bata niya kining mga tao nga nasa mga okay, nasa barangay mm -hmm. kining community nga where where community transmission happens um, these are the sectors, sectors. Sa, sa atong society, labi na kini mga 40 years old pataas. These are the consumers sa radio in particular. So, sa ako lang is, wala agad ni mas na opportunity at the onset last January. Wala na siya makita sa mga decision makers na to na Nga, itap, itap nila, nila, na itap nila na nilagi collaborate sila sa radio, radio. in particular, particular radio. radio witness magi ko na kanya-kanya na lang may diri sa among you know sa mga stations kanya-kanya na lang diskarte so, yes. wala gay kanang kung gid kanang wala gay kanang concerted gid nga efforts ba in, short, until, in the beginning they didn't reach out to you right away nga oi uh, you better help us because we're all in this together Yes, at, for, at least there is a mong organization, there is a civil chapter. Mm. Murag, makaingong gid ko nga kwan. Dahil lang gid murag. Kaingong gid ko nga murag. Nga nga, walay kwan. Walay uh, uh, collaboration nga na ito po. Yan na lang na saka na mga uh, towards, towards uh, the first uh, week of May? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, uh, wala good. Sayang, sayang, but you know, what is done is done, so, but you know. Could we have saved lives? I mean, if we started sooner? Of course. Um, and, Definitely. Uh oh. Definitely. Uh -huh. Information is power, di ba? Uh oh. Okay. oh, oh. And then, of course, basic, um, some people also do not understand the differences between information, development communica communication, and strategic communication. So, Murabag, ang ilan lang tanong siguro, information, basta lang magpadayad ta, nahibawaan sa katawahan, that's enough. But, <laughs> that's got to be ahead to the body, no? So, strategic communication is important. Mona, and then, I don't know how, whether they appreciate that, or whether they understand that, no? Because, when you communicate with these people, you have to speak with their language, mm -hmm. with their, you know, you have to go down with their level. Mm -hmm. Of understanding of how things is being uh, understood uh, as fast as they can. So, we know the dynamics. 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 We know the Ang strategic communication was absent at the onset and you know January, February, March, wala na siya. Uh -huh. So it could, as you said, it could have 
uh, save lives, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. uh, through information. Um, wearing a face mask. Yes. Uh, washing your hands mm-hmm. uh, more often, more often, regularly, and the social distancing. So mm-hmm. these are important. And for, pe- for people to take it seriously. Okay. And for the, for oh, the, yes. For, oh, for the that's, how, that's how we develop the themes so that people will realize that serious is not going to die. What is the message should be, should be uh, direct to the point. Oh. Should be direct to the point. Wala na rin mga paas. Kung baga, sa paligwiligoy pa, wala na rin oh. sikot-sikot ba. It should be direct to the point. And the public should be made to understand that this virus is really dangerous and this is lethal and this is, this should kill. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, so that should be the, uh, no, that should be the, the message that, you know, the radio station should could have carried at the onset but morag na busy man to nagkaguli yan naman siguro they were running all around the place <laughs> yeah like <laughs> i don't know if i if i if it's, if it's uh, fair to say that they were running like uh, headless chicken <laughs> oh, 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 oh. and uh, I, I don't know i don't know whether we have a three o'clock habit in uh, in your radio station but Kana three o'clock habit, people already morobag. It's it's like uh, second nature to them to to be able to hear the th- three o'clock habit. Uh, along those lines, maybe government should have come up with some kind of a a, a habit uh, hour habit mm-hmm. hour that would remind them that uh, well, it's COVID and these are the things we should remember, and so that you know it yeah. it becomes not only a, you have a religious three o'clock habit here, you have a a health habit so to speak. I I don't know right. whether somebody has approached it or not. Yeah. No? No, no, no. That's a good idea. It's a good idea. <laughs> I can, I can, you know. Uh, oh, uh, may, maybe um, everybody in government, and I'm talking in general, no, could have sat down with KBP. I mean, you know, uh, and then talk to the experts, and uh, maybe PCOO and uh, the spokesperson could have gotten this all together, come out with uh, some kind of a master plan uh, nationally and then uh, regionally or locally based on uh, the circumstances of their situation. And then cascaded this down, down no? <laughs> in Murad, siguro sa ato, klaro mo na kayo, no? <laughs> Pero, Eric, uh, uh, in fairness also to PCO, uh, they, have, they have produced, they have collaborated with KBP Manila. Okay. And they have, they came up with Tagalog versions of uh, plugs. Uh-huh. Itong mga social, ito itong mga health protocols. Oh, oh. Right. It was also, you know, in fairness to them, they have also come, came up with, with that uh, idea. And so, somehow, nakatabang po ito. Nakatabang po ito. Oh. Siguro, Pero, if, siguro if they listen to KBP Cebu, they would have come up with a Cebuano version. <laughs> Yeah, the precisely mo nang mo nang mo nang inindot sa kanang strategic communication. Kay consider ni mo ang ang consider ni mo ang you know culture. Yes. Consider ni mo ang localities, ang, ang picture sa locality. Hmm. Uh, that, that's one of the inputs nga kung gihatag kaya kung matik historian ni Juan, ako yung historian ni General Feliciano. Hmm. It should be done in dialect. It should be done in dialect. It should be done. Uh, Bullet, uh, bullseye, eye, direct to the point. Mm. Should be. It should. It should not. It should not. Kanang promote panic, but it should. It should, one way or the other, cause alarm. That's it. That's the right word for it. That should cause alarm. Yes. It may not necessarily be a. It may not necessarily cause uh, anxiety and panic among mm. our. Mm among our listeners pero that somehow you know can can ignite can ang bomba can ang alarm na oy <laughs> basi nito ka ga wala ni simple ni nga kwan sakit mm-hmm. so that's that's a that's the one of the things that he he appreciated uh-huh. uh, he likes it I, I noticed Marlon, and uh, I, I'm using this an, as an example, para it will look very general and doesn't look political. 
When New York was uh, wrestling with uh, their own their own problems with COVID, their own version of COVID, the governor always had uh, almost, uh, if I'm not uh, mistaken, every night na asay ko ano na asay conference, and then a PowerPoint presentation, and then there is some kind of an objective of where they where they are and where they're going. Um, can we learn from that? I mean, can local governments uh, all over the Philippines learn from that? And they have their own localized version where the chief executive is there talking about, you know, uh, it's like a, almost like a mini sauna or mm -hmm. uh, a mini city sauna so that people know where they are and w what needs to be done. I mean, shouldn't we be doing that? Yeah, sure. I mean, so, as I have uh, said earlier, during a pandemic, unprecedented me. Mm -hmm. No one can claim that he is an expert mm -hmm. worldwide. Ah, you said you said that among developed countries struggle sila how to contain this virus. Mm -hmm. So, having said that, uh, it's a learning process. It's a learning from one nation to the other, one person to the other, one organization to the other. So, possibly not strong one. You get you get the you know. Uh, mga kanang mga kining success stories nila sa ako nila dito yun sa nila we can you know uh, our local government can may you know mm. may uh, get good points and, and replicate it uh, there is a local nato but in fairness also sa sa atong mga local chief executives they are they, they are doing the best they can possibly can Yes, yes. Uh -huh. um, of course, na agi kana mga kaya wala agi expert pa ni, why experts? So um, nakita sa national government nga kinanglan siguro na to to bangan kaya murag di naman nila kaya. So that is why uh, IATF sent uh, General Simato and company mm -hmm. to to help. To help, uh, and I think the result is that the result is that para nako, para nako. But ang sila Mayor Labella and other all other officials na to I I guess they should be also recognized in terms of of you know uh, kani ilang ilang nahimo po ba? Ilang, they have done their best, but you know kani oh, magin expert ba ni? Mm -hmm. Expert, mm -hmm. so now I'm shortcomings, but you know, try to learn from the lessons that it had uh, given us. Yeah, w would it have helped, uh, you know, at a time when uh, Cebu City was really the hardest hit all over the Philippines, no, and uh, we were like headlines and uh, we were under the radar of the president, no less than uh, President Rodrigo Duterte? Would it have helped if? We adopted some kind of a, a daily press conference um, in order that, you know, there is always a constant update. The consciousness is, you know, public consciousness is always revitalized. Would that have helped? I mean, at, at that time and then continuing, you know, where, where, where the figures and numbers are going down? Yes. Para na ako makatabang to siya. Dako siya nga kwan. Dako siya nga tabang. Any information, especially if it's really vital to the to the issue at hand. Um, dako kayo na nga kwan. Dako kayo na nga tabang sa mga tao. Um, especially kini nga pandemic because people need information. Yes. Yes. Very vital. Very vital. Um, why? Why? Why are we doing this? So, oh. why are we, you know, why are we bringing kini mga staff dito yung gigas ko nila? Yes. Na ay, you know, more militarized lang atong approach ni. So the reasons why uh, vital to kayo, and of course, ang mga protocols, yes, reiteration, so mga protocols, updates, pila ng guan, positive cases, pila yung mga recoveries, pila yung contact tracing, anything, anything uh, could have uh, you know help a lot. We could have replicated what uh, DOH was doing in Manila in terms of uh, constant uh, dissemination of information uh, right here in uh, Cebu per se because, uh, you know, 
we were in the we were in the eye of the storm, and with more reason, I think uh, public awareness really had to uh, be heightened in order that uh, you know we could get more public uh, cooperation, no? especially. And then my untag, we had a daily some kind of daily update. Uh, oh, from 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 our uh, leaders. Uh, of course, kudos to Governor Gwen Garcia because he, she really came up with yeah. a, 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 almost. I think was it a daily conference, no? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, so that that was really very helpful. Unta, no unta. Pero tungo si Goro sa kwan ba? Kaya na overwhelmed the po ng atong mga local officials. Ikapoy na sila, ano, na, lalimang baka from January until now, nagaya po niya problema. So, why may laki? Mm -hmm. so, what, what else uh, would you like to, do you think, Marlon, that could be added, no? Um, uh, in terms of public information amidst COVID, and then where should we be going in terms of, you know, keeping the fires burning and people aware that we are not yet out of the woods you know we're, we're still in the middle of this yes. great problem yes um continuing the the emphasis on health protocols i think that's one of the most important important uh, approaches no sa pag contain uh, and control Mm -hmm. the spread of the virus. Um, encourage na mga po na mga registrations to be to be always updated and encourage our listening public to practice uh, the established minimum health standards. Katong uh, face shield, uh -huh. face mask, uh -huh. social distancing, Washing of hands regularly, uh, and to be serious about it, kay makita masan nato na uban ng mga lugar yung mga why mga kwan, why mga face mask. Uh -huh. So na apa, dagdag pa. Yes. No, kung kung gaya pong kung kung kampanti gaya pong ba, kung gaya pong ba, kung gi why why pang pagkabana ba? Uh -huh. So. I'll ask, you, I'll ask this of you, Marlon, as a final question. What do you see yeah. as the future of KBP also? Well, KBP will, for as long as uh, the network's owners mm -hmm. and uh, officers of the networks are, you know, still uh, um, excited about, you know, Doing things in the KBP and and uh, make making sure that the organization will not get stagnant mm -hmm. and organization will not organization will not become irrelevant. Yes, I can see a bright future of this organization. This has been in you know this has started way way back in 1973, and until now, KBP still remain strong mm -hmm. or remain strong mm -hmm. i don't think any i don't think any reason that you know can maka ingong ko nga ang kbp more will become irrelevant mm -hmm. in the coming years mm -hmm. uh amidst the you know the gaining popularity sa social media mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um for as long as nga kanang Kining buhi pang negosyo sa atong mm. sa industriya, I think KBP will and will is here to stay mm -hmm. for the next uh, couple of years. Mm -hmm. I hand over na naman ni dito sa mga kwan. Batan on. <laughs> Kamo na sad. New generation. <laughs> new generation. Uh, the, 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 new, the new normal generation. <laughs> the new normal generation. So, oh. Uh, oh, 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 oh. So, thank you so much, Marlon. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, Marlon Baula. Shampo yung uh, uh, nagdadala. Shampo yung nagduma aning kwan. Yes, the best and easy rock. 91.5, uh, 51 ba yan? 91.5 and 102.7 sa frequencies nato. Yes. Uh, pamati mo na kay FM Radio na. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, Marlon. And uh, ito po si Eric Espino palaging nagsasabi. 
magmasid, makialam, higit sa lahat ay manindigan. Dahil wala pong magmamahal sa Pilipino kung hindi ang Pilipino. Daghang salamat, mahing gabi, karinyong tanan.